Alright, hello there guys, remember Joy here, and uh, in the last video we completed the tree zone, and also got all the secret level up there as well, so pretty much there's no reason to ever go back there. So now it's time to go to the, I'm starting to try to go to the space zone, but before we can go to space zone, we have to go here first. This is pretty much like a mandatory secret level that you have to go to before you can enter space zone. Actually, it's, a pr it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just float around and grab all the coins and all that. And so, uh, pretty much, it's more like a bonus level than anything else, just because you collect so many coins. So, pretty much, if you want to collect the uh, 999 coins to be able to, uh, to, be, to be able to try betting them all, then uh, this is probably the easiest way to do it, because this level has... This level has way so many coins. Just make sure you don't get hit. That's the only trouble here. If you get hit while you're in the bubble, then the bubble just, and then you lose the bubble. That's the only thing that uh, keep, would keep you from grabbing uh, all the coins you want. And you can see just how many coins I'm getting here. So this one. But if you want to, if you want to get to space zone, you have to get the top. You have to get the uh, exit at the top. See, there's always two exits here, the one on the top and the one on the bottom. You have to get the one on the top, or else you won't get to Space Zone. Alright, and, uh, I would, have been, I would have been getting a Magic Carrot there, but I'm not going to get it, because, uh, the Magic Carrot is completely useless in this level. It has zero effect. Really, because it's Space Zone, and you get to fly around like a majestic bird of prey. Yes. Surprise there wasn't a bird power-up in any of the Mario games, at least not that I know of. And they got every other kind of power-up imaginable. They got a cat power-up, a rabbit power-up, a raccoon power-up, a tanuki raccoon power-up, which is only slightly different, and uh, I got hit because I was talking and distracted. I'm surprised they don't have a bird power-up. Honestly, I am. Oh, oop, I'm missing something. Better go back for it. Oh I, oh, I killed him? I didn't even I didn't even realize that I was going to kill him, but anyway. Uh, can I make it? Can I make it? Yes, I can. Alright, so somewhere around here. I don't remember exactly where it is, but... Oh, no, don't do that. Don't fall in the spike pit of death. See, somewhere around here, you're relatively close to a, uh, around here, relatively close to a fat planet, I believe. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is it, but... Not this. It'd be a little bit easier if this stupid robot wasn't in the way. I, I thought there was something here. Oh, there it is. I was just jumping around looking for it, and now I remember where it is. Basically, you gotta use these blocks to jump up here, and, uh... From there, you gotta perform a series of long jumps across these things, I just barely made that. I need to get better at jumping in this game, really, I do. But anyway, my jumping skills are sufficient, and, uh, this is the secret exit of this level. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I... <laughs> but you don't need to be angry at me, I just... I had to do that to get to the secret level, come on, man. Can't be angry at me for something like that. Yes. So pretty much this is another bonus level, basically. You just, you just get tons and tons of coins. Again, this game is really generous with coins. <laughs> like, even New Super Mario Bros. 2 isn't this generous with coins, and they, like, like they purposely put tons of coins in that game because they expect you to, uh, expect you to get, like, a, a million coins in that game. Alright, so anyway. <laughs> We're already... 
So we're this early on in the let's in the let's play. This is a world two actually, and uh, I already have seven hundred and thirteen coins. That should say a lot. Uh, I made the same mistake again. The hell. Except now I'm small. So basically, that's something that I should have showed off, uh, and then I got hit to show it off, but whatever. Something I probably should have showed off, that UFO and he basically just throws exploding stars, I guess. This game also has some really weird enemies, and a lot of weird stuff that never comes back in any other Mario game. Like, honestly, the pig, like the pig cannons and all that? Uh, there we go, there's the power-up I'm looking for. Yes, I did that. Ah. Let's so jump over that. Oh, I thought it would bounce me higher. That was my fault. Sure, I'm getting hit a lot. Alright, well, let's jump for it. Yes, I can make it. Uh, I wanted to power up, not three lives. Three lives doesn't help me when I'm recording. Alright, so this level actually has some really good music, so... I'm probably not going to talk too much during this level, just so that you can listen to it. Probably gonna need that mushroom. And I'm gonna try to keep this fire flower for the boss fight. So there's a lot of power-ups, what the hell? I didn't find all these power-ups when I was test playing this game before. When I was, te I was testing out. Like, when I was practicing, I never found all this stuff, so... stupid of me. Alright, here we go. Got a bell, and here comes one of the more difficult parts of this level. At least it's a lot more difficult if you're a child, basically. You gotta navigate through this maze of uh, spiky stars, and then I, and I failed to do that. Alright, well, I don't have a fire flower, but I, this boss is still a piece of cake. Just like the last boss. In fact, this boss is actually really similar to the last boss. The only difference is this one actually does something other than, other than just flying back and forth. It's like, this one actually shoots at you sometimes. So basically, if you st stay up high, you'll get hit by the... <laughs> If you stay up high, you'll get hit by the cutters. cutters, but if you do what I did, then you should be able to avoid both the cutters and the bombs with fine. And that is the space zone completed.
Alright, so in the next part we will be doing the macro zone. I'm going to see you guys later.